am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, I had a request and I don't remember who it was, but to get an update on uh, Queen uh, Princess Catherine. So we're going to do that. We're going to see what's been going on with Catherine of the Royal Family. And I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Here we go. So we're going to talk about Catherine. Um, I thought this Touchstone Tarot would be nice for her because it's a beautiful set of cards. And I always have said... I feel like she's really carrying water for that royal family. She's doing her job. Of course, she hasn't been able to recently uh, because of her illness, but up until then, man, she was she was there. So Queen, I want to call her Queen, isn't that interesting? So Princess Catherine, Princess Catherine, uh, Princess of Wales, so she's felt, they felt comfortable enough now to pass that title on to William's uh, wife which seems very appropriate, seeing as uh, Diana was the last one to really use it. Although uh, Queen Camilla had every every right to use that uh, title before she became queen, uh, but uh, she chose not to out of uh, deference to the memory of Diana, I suppose, Diana. So Catherine, what can the cards tell us about Catherine? But of course, before we do too much of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Here we go with Catherine. Uh, let's do three cards just to get started. I think I'm going to do a full uh, Celtic cross uh, by the end, but let's just get a warm up and see if the cards can give us an idea of where Catherine is emotionally kind of right now. So Catherine, what's going on with her? The first card up is the tower. It's a disaster. That's the cancer. The next card up is the magician. So looking for a miracle, really. And the third come up is the Queen of Wands. Wands mean actions, plans, forward movement. This puts Catherine in the position of looking for those actions, looking for those plans, looking for that forward movement. This tells me that she is fully focused on beating this cancer. It doesn't mean that she will, but that's what she's focused on. So with that in mind, that her uh, primary focus is to beat the cancer. Uh, let's see what a full Celtic cross can do for us. And it seems really appropriate. I mean, any of us, if we found out that we had a, a serious cancer diagnosis, um, I guess that's what we'd be focused on. If there seemed to be any chance that that could happen, and apparently this, uh, the fact that she's so focused on beating the cancer by those first three cards um, tells me that she must be uh, lent to believe that there must be something uh, doable here it's uh, in some capacity so we're gonna do full Celtic cross six cards and then another four to finish it off so uh, six cards one two three four five and six for Princess Catherine you know I was calling her Queen Catherine I wonder if that means that she will survive and that's why that little sly message was coming out the signifier of this drawing just in general about Catherine, Princess Catherine, is the Seven of Cups, Illusion and Delusion, the signifier card. I think what this is telling us is that under that royal hierarchy, that royal uh, firm, that machine, the idea here is to keep the public not knowing exactly what's going on. They want to be in complete control of every message regarding everything that comes out of that palace. Oh boy. And this, the challenge to that is the moon card, which are secrets being revealed. So of course, yeah, it makes perfect sense. So it, the signifier is the illusion and delusion of, of keeping everything, um, you know, 
mystically uh, hidden. And the challenge to it is that the secrets will be revealed. The basis of this whole thing is the Knight of Swords. This is her husband. This is Prince William. Swords are, uh, uh, not, are uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. This is William feeling like he is the arbiter of all of that. He's holding that those truths, those justices, those rules, and law. He feels like he can manipulate them. And that's exactly as the the knight, I'm sorry, not the king, but the knight of swords, the fighter for the, the royal court he ex intends to do. And the past of this is the five of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the five of wands is kind of pointless arguing. And you can see this fella, who again, I think is Prince uh, William, standing up, holding his action, feeling like the rest of this is insignificant. He has a plan that he's going to carry forward. In the sky of this reading, oh, someone's coming in my front door. In the sky of this reading is the Three of Swords. And so the Three of Swords is a broken heart. Oh, of course it is. And then the final uh, card for this part of this Celtic cross is the Queen of Wands. Again, that's Catherine with uh, the actions and the plans and the forward movement. So this all makes perfect sense so far. Uh, four more cards to finish up this Celtic cross. The very uh, signifier of that question is the Four of Swords, Swords being Truth, Justice, Rules of Law, and the Four of Swords being don't make a move until you've carefully considered because you don't want to get hurt. This could be both in treatment and in just publicly uh, dealing with her illness. The environment that that's in, however, is the Five of Swords, which is an abuse of power. Yeah, and that's what's going on. The palace is exercising uh, their uh, abuse of power. Uh, the likely outcome for all of this is then the Eight of Wands, which are actions, plans, forward movement. And these are a lot of things coming at, at the same time. Again, this is Catherine with all those issues coming up. And the Six of Swords, ah, this is very good because the likely outcome is moving out of troubled water. So it looks like this is going to be fine. Somehow she's going to move out of this and she's going to eventually be queen. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front... These cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face of, you'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer.